Our Father, we just want to thank you for this wonderful occasion. For Christopher and Michelle, the beginning of their new life together in you. We thank you for the love that you have for us, the life you've given each of us, and now they can demonstrate that life in you as they begin their new life together. Just bless our time, the friends, the family. We pray this in Christ's name. Amen. To my soon-to-be husband, today's the day that will change our lives forever, the day God has had in the works all along. To my soon-to-be wife, Michelle, we made it. I can't believe today is finally here. It seems like only yesterday we were sitting in your car at 4 a.m. soaking up every second together. The last year has been full of fun, laughter, not enough sleep, and many unforgettable moments with you. There have also been some difficult and trying times, but it's as he says, I have a plan to prosper you and not to harm you. You are unquestionably a blessing from God and the answer to so many prayers. Jeremiah 29 11, for I know the plans I have for you. It has been approximately 730 days since I first told you that I loved you. I am thankful for this God-centered relationship. I pray that our love continues to grow and God remains the center of our marriage. I pray we find moments to glorify him for all he continues to do in us and through us. I pray today we take moments for ourselves. I look forward to what's to come. I have no doubt you will make an amazing husband, and one day you will be an amazing father to our children. You are my constant. You have a heart full of love and selflessness. You bring me so much happiness, joy, and fulfillment every day. I'm so glad and proud of the foundation we stand on. There's never been a doubt in my mind that God's plan included us, and I can't wait to see what else He has in store. I'll meet you at the altar. I love you with all that I am. Christopher. I know you will always be there. Always pray for us during those good times and bad. P.S. I admit you are the funniest person I know. See you at the altar. You're soon to be wife. Chris, thank you for treating my sister the way she deserves to be treated. Uh, you are full of everything I've ever wanted for her. Michelle, thank you for trusting that God would bring you exactly what you need. <laughs> it says, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you a hope and a future. It's exciting to think God says, I have a plan for you. He's thought about you some, what, two plus years ago, you didn't see this day coming, right? <laughs> and then one day, Christopher tells me, oh, I kind of reconnected with a girl from high school, and yeah, we're just kind of hanging out together. <laughs> Those from my generation, we don't know what hanging out means. <laughs> so it's like, are you dating or, oh, no, no, we're not dating, we're friends. <laughs> that okay. And then he sent me a picture of Michelle, and I said, okay, I'm understanding more and more. God's laid it out. He wants nothing but great days ahead for both of you in all you do, every part of your life. He has a plan and he wants it to be great. He loves you. He's got a purpose. And now it's just experiencing that future, taking it as it comes, as I said two years ago. I had no idea. Who knows where you'll be two years from now and look back and say, look at what God did. Isn't God good? Christopher and Michelle, it is my pleasure, my honor, 
the power vested in me to pronounce you husband and wife. Yes, you may kiss the bride. <laughs> I now present to you Mr. and Mrs. Christopher Webb. Chris. Chris sat behind me in physics class in high school and um, didn't know him too well but I knew that he came from a great family and he was a nice guy. Michelle and Chris reconnected a little over two years ago and Michelle could not make it to church on one Sunday and she texted me and said, Chris Wemp is going to come to church today. You should find him. <laughs> okay, Michelle. Our, of course, we're tag teaming like we always do. I can do this. So I walk in and I sit in the pew and I see Chris out of the corner of my eye, but I'm like, I haven't talked to Chris Wemp in 15 years. This is awkward. I'm not doing this, Michelle. So I sit down across the other section of the church, and then just this feeling came over, go sit next to Chris, Melissa. So I get up and I go over and I say, hey, Chris, do you remember me? I'm Michelle, I mean, I'm Melissa. We had physics class together 15 years ago, and my sister told me to come over here and find you. Can I sit by you? He said, yes. And after that, our church had their summer kickoff party. And I said, Chris, do you want to come to the summer kickoff party with me? And he just kept saying yes. Like, I could not get this guy to go away. And that's really been, it's been history from there. He just keeps saying yes. The Currens got him, and now we've got him for life. He has also been a great role model for me. He taught me what trust is, how to be easygoing, and how to be selfless. He has been a rock and foundation for progressing through my life. Michelle, Chris, Congratulations. You guys deserve one another and are absolutely perfect for each other. I know you guys will have a wonderful life together and I wish you guys many years of happiness. So Chris and Michelle, may their lives be full of happiness and joy um, in a, a very long lasting marriage. Yes.